Welcome Lani Mountain Lions, it's Mrs. Cacho here and today we're going to learn about some word tune arts. What is that? Well, it's when we take a word and we're going to create a cartoon or art piece out of it. So here we have cat. You can see in red it has the word cat in it. And we're going to learn how to draw this animal. So we have also dog. Fish, lion, actually it's this way, no, it's the other way, it says lion, then you turn it, lion, and monkey. So continue on to see how to make these word tunes. Start off writing with the word cat. And for the cat over the A, we're going to make the cat's ears. And over the C is the other ear. So here's one ear and connect it together over the head. And connect the bottom with the line with the A. With the C, we're making the eyes, a triangle nose, a mouth. Um, we're going to connect the A to the T, to so the body. And with the T, we're making a tail with a wispy fat fro. For underneath the body, make one leg, and then from the middle of the body, make another leg. Then from the last part of the T, we're going to drop down and make the last leg. And then we're going to add some pupils for the eyes, and here we have cat. For the word dog, we're going to make a eyeball over the O and the G, that's the other eye. And the inside circle of the G will be at the dog's nose and we color it in with a nice shine. And add pupils for the eyes of the dog. Connect the D and the G together, that's the head, and over the D make another ear. And we're going to create the dog's head proportion, add a collar and an owner, and here is dog. Start off with the word fish, and with the F, we're going to connect the F to the I together. This is going to create the fish's eyeballs. So F and I makes that one eyeball, and then the other side of the F make the other eyeballs. So right there, the two circles is the two fish eyeballs. Here, we're going to make it a nice nose mouth fish area. It goes up to all the way to the S, because the S will serve as a mouth, and that little line on the bottom will be its tongue. The fish will be sticking up to so the bottom chin from the bottom all the way to the bottom of the H. So overhead from the F to the H, we're going to make this curve for the big part of the head. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, I'm trying my best to fish um, to clean it out. But what can I do with a marker? So over and then make a fin from the F to the H. That's the fish's top dorsal fin. Oh, actually, wrong fin. But the top fin. The H is going to act as the back tail fin of the fish. So we are going to create that tail fin and the roundness of the H will be the detailed part of the fin. So add more details to the back tail. Next we're going to add more details to the top fin. We're going to add a bottom fin that keeps that fish in balance. For, um, so that's the left fin, then we're going to draw another one for the right fin on the other side. We're going to draw the eyeballs or the eyelids of the fish. So connect the F's. Um, remember the S is the tongue, so add more details on that, clean it up. And draw the eyeballs of the fish. And which way is it going? Oh, it looks like it has a day's look because it is hungry. I think they search food. There's tongue sticking out. And I'm going to add some eyebrows, some cartoonish because the fish really wants to eat something. Add some bubbles, knowing the tail, add some details, a lot more bubbles all the way around. And here we have fish. Okay, next we're going to start off with lion. Lion is going to write the word lion, and then we're going to turn our paper where the, it's going to be up and down. Starting with the N, we're going to make the mouth of the lion, so we have its mouth sticking up. The O will be the nose of the lion. 
and the bottom part will be its mouth. The end section of it will be its teeth. We're going to draw uppers and lower teeth, and then the tongue. From there, we're going to color in the rest of the shadow part of the lion's mouth. So shade in all the extra background of that lion's mouth. Next, we're going to look at the letter I. The letter I will be the nose and eyes of the lion. So we draw the nose section of the lion, and now we are drawing the arches and making the eyes. The eyes are gleaming. The little circle part of the eye will be this pupil. And on the other side, we're going to draw the other eye to match the opposite side. Now, the L is going to be the outer shape of the lion's face. So from there, we're going to draw the lion's face all the way around. Next, we're drawing the mane, mane all the way around. Now, details of the ears, the lion's ears and the inner ears, add a little bit more details. And here we have lion with its eyebrows. All right, it is important with monkey, we write the word monkey the way we see it. We're going to first start off connecting the M and the O, that will be the monkey's head, and the O will be its details for the ears. Next, we have the monkey's mouth and curl it all the way back around for the M, and we add two nostrils for the monkey. Next, we will be going from the N all the way down, we're making the monkey's arm, from the O, we're adding a little fur detail as we bring it down with the N, and that would be the fur detail. We're gonna make the hand, so it's like a round shaped hand with its fingers sticking up, and one, two, three fingers in the thumb. That would be our monkey's hand and arm. Next, we will be working with the body part of the monkey from the O to the K, so it's arching up. The end, the middle part of the end, is going to be the monkey's tummy. From the E to the K, that will be the monkey's foot. So we are making the back foot of the monkey. Drop down that K and the E, that will be the big toe that we will be drawing. The top portion of the E is the other foot. So there will be draw the heel and add the big toes and the upper part of the E is its foot. Foot. Next, we will be adding a little bit more details of the hair on our foot so we know it's a monkey. Between the N and the K, we will be, con no, between the N and the E, we're making the other leg of the monkey. So it drops down and you can see it bends to the knee and where the foot lands in the very back. So next, we are looking for the Oh, okay, let's close up that monkey's face. Next, we're going to look at the tree. So monkey will be laying on a tree. So next to the Y, we're going to draw a branch or the trunk of the tree. And then from the Y, we're going to see its tail wrapping around that tree. So I drew the ends where that tail will end. So between the top part of the K, it's going to go wrap around the tree. My paper is not that long, but it's going to wrap the tail around the tree. And you just draw the other side of the tree, and there is this monkey's tail wrapping around the tree. Add a little bit more details to it. Next, we will be drawing the branch that the monkey is laying on the tree. So from the Y, see the bottom trunk of that tree, it's coming to shape. So we're going to continue that line all the way across where that monkey is laying. Make that line, see that monkey's tummy in the end. So between the head, we're drawing a leaf of the tree with the spine, so we know it's a leaf. We're gonna draw another leaf. Draw as many leaves as you want. So here we can see our monkey is sleeping on a branch and it has that dazed look. So we have that as a monkey's eyelids. Then we're gonna draw the monkey pupils because it's very comfortable laying on a branch of that tree. And there you have it. We have a monkey. Please color and share your pictures on Instagram. 
tag at malka underscore lani underscore elementary. We can't wait to see your drawings.